What up, big kids? Here's our big interview with Kevin Michael Richardson. You like know him from every cartoon ever because he's been in. It. Like Kevin, um, thank you for doing this interview. Um, You're very welcome. Uh, yeah. Oh, no problem. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we're at Comic Con. You're here for the Cleveland show, but also, um, like, well, first off, like doing Balcon and Comic Con. How do you like uh, being this close to the fans and seeing like the reactions? Like, how's how's the convention uh, circuit feel to you? I love I love it, man. I love it. The energy is great, and, and the feedback is always fun because you get to hear stuff that uh, you forgot that you did. <laughs> <laughs> Fans who remember every single thing you did, it's like it, it blows me away every time, you know. So, and the energy is great, mm -hmm. and, the, and just to see how far people have traveled. Oh yeah. <laughs> to come to this is a huge deal, man. I had no idea. So. That's honor. That's honor, and the fans deserve. They deserve every, every, every bit that they that they, that they spent their money for. They oh. deserve every every dime. And it's just, uh, it's really good to see because it, it, it works both ways. You can't have a show without you, mm -hmm. you know. And it just, uh, it just, it's, it's nice. It's yeah, very nice. definitely. Well, the fans love you, and, and it's great to see that uh, you, you love the fans just as much because it should be a big love fest at these conventions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a love bomb, I guess. Yeah, in a good way. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll talk about the Cleveland show in a bit, but like Thundercats was the big thing yesterday. We saw the I, I got to see the first uh, episode yesterday. Wow, was it, it was, something? It was amazing, and um, feedback was good. Huh? Oh, definitely. Was good. The feedback was great, and like with Thundercats, and and I even told you this back, back at Botcon, it was. Such a big uh, deal that it's be coming back after all these years, especially because unlike with other things, especially that you've done with Transformers and GI Joe, that it's taken this long to resurface after all these years. Like, how's it feel to? Uh, 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 we'll get to all these uh, other cartoons you're doing, but like with with uh, Thundercats being like the first next generation of that and being Panther. Like, how's it feel to like uh, be part of this new Thundercats uh, generation? It you know? feels fantastic. <laughs> It feels fantastic. When I, I got the phone call that I was uh, cast as Panther, mm -hmm. man, I just lit up like a, like a Christmas tree. I was like, yes, you know, uh, because you, you never know where which directions producers want to go. Mm -hmm. You know, they, you know, just because you know, I, you know, Earl Hyman, mm -hmm. who's fantastic, who played the role, mm -hmm. um, just because he was African American character who played him, doesn't necessarily mean that's the route they're going to go for mm -hmm. this generation. And. You know, and I don't think it was necessarily uh, supposed to be that way anyway. Yeah, I guess they just wanted the best sound, and uh, apparently I've given them what I gave them what they wanted. Oh, yeah. and it was just, it turned out nice, man. So I just feel, I'm just I'm ecstatic <laughs> because I, I like the cartoon. Mm -hmm. I always like the original. Mm -hmm. And they, they show a lot of respect toward that original yes. animation, which I think is very cool. Yeah, the animation is very slick, very anime style, very to the old school cartoon. Right, with a little, a yes. little dash, of, with a little kick in it, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely, and, and you got to work with Larry too, who, uh, you know, he's the original Lionel and stuff, you know, so that was very cool. You know, I, I don't think he was in the same room, which was, uh, oh, yeah. that's the thing, I mean, I mm -hmm. think, I recorded with the rest of the cast, mm -hmm. Wilford Dale, Emmanuel mm -hmm. Shrieky, uh, Matt Mercer, mm -hmm. um, uh, Robin Ackin Down, mm -hmm. um, Corey, Corey Burton. <laughs> oh yeah, Corey, uh, awesome. He's a fantastic mm -hmm. actor, um, but unfortunately, I don't, he was in, I, I don't think we had the same session, he might have recorded separately. So. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because in, in the first episode, you guys, it's a, uh, like, I won't spoil anything, but uh, uh, Panthro is in there. Uh, people are worried from the previous season there. But you're going to see definitely more of Kevin as Panthro as the show goes on. It, it's definitely going to build up the classic cast, as they said in the panel. It's, it's They're not all there at, at once, but they will, will be. It, it, it's definitely, you guys will love it. And Kevin did amazing in the first episode, and he's going to do amazing in the series. And, and speaking of other cartoons you do, as we know from Balkan, you do Bulkhead in Transformers yes. Animated, which we love. And especially seeing the animated version going to Prime's version, which uh, it's cool to see that parallel that Bulkhead has always had a good relationship with, especially a human female character. Like, now you got Miko, we had Sari before. Um, How does it feel, especially Bumblebee was more like that in G1 with Spike, but you're more like that now with, with Bulkhead in this card. How does it feel to be more of that character? I know our and uh, Jack have that relationship too, but you're more that human connection with the robots. Uh, how does it feel to be that, that, that to take that part in the cartoon? I like it. I like it a lot. I think it adds, it adds to the character, it adds to the show, it adds to uh, uh, the embodiment of art, mm -hmm. uh, that ingredient of art, which I think uh, you know every show kind of needs. Mm -hmm. It's not just all bam, slam, you know, mm -hmm. you know, 
just knock them down, that kind of thing. Which was, you know, which uh, is a major theme with a lot of these action yes. cartoons, action animated series. Mm. Um, however, this one, um, I think on the most part, a lot of shows now are showing a little more art. And in this particular show, that the relationship between Nico and him and Vulcan mm -hmm. uh, is just endearing. You oh, yeah. see the love that he has for her. He really, I don't know if that's too big a word. <laughs> you see how much he cares about this yeah. child, this human child. And mm -hmm. He has actual feelings for her. Too. Yeah, like definitely. A big, like a big brother, almost, yeah. almost father like figure. Yeah. So, uh, and it's just, and her, and the actor Tanya who plays mm -hmm. me, She is just, a darling. She is phenomenal. And I must say, uh, probably the next to uh, Peter Cullen's character, Alfred, yes. it's my favorite character mm -hmm. in the show. How does it feel to work with such legends like Peter Cullen and oh, Alfred Hogan? Just don't even get me started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Working with Peter Cullen, if you remember the BotCon mm -hmm. panel, that what I said about mm -hmm. little green apples. And oh yeah, things, yeah. I, that was that was a lie. <laughs> you know, every time I see Peter, and he's such a gentleman. Um, to, when you this 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 small man, you know, in a corner in the mic in the same room, you know, who's just very soft spoken mm -hmm. when you speak to him. And when he performs, when that first word comes out of his mouth and you're like, Autobots, you're like, <laughs> you just get, it's just amazing. You know, he fills the room. He's just a powerful presence and he knows how to utilize his instrument, like, really professionally well. So it's, 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 I'm, I'm blown away. I'm in, I'm, I'm in honor to be in that guy's presence. To work with him and Frank Welker. Oh, yeah. Two legends in the business. You know, Frank Welker is one of the first people I've ever worked with. And I was blown mm -hmm. away by him, so. Just to be here with him, you know, on a regular basis is just very cool. Definitely, and you are becoming a legend yourself. One uh, last thing, um, is there any, um, since I especially do with toys too, uh, is there any toys of any of the characters you're playing that you got a hold of or excited to get a hold of with Transformers, uh, Thundercats? Like I saw a lot of the, like Bull Kids getting a figure and Panther is getting a figure and uh, like a lot of good stuff. You know? I saw a prototype of uh, Bull Kid and I can't wait to own that. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking yes. forward to that, especially a radio control version. I'm all over that. Oh yeah. And, and especially if that comes out. And so, and uh, what we call um, I saw my Kilowatt character yes. from um, Green Lantern, but it looks like it might be the Kilowatt from the feature film. Oh yeah. Yeah, but, we'll, but hey, it's still a kilo Kilowatt, and I'm excited. So, Excellent. Cool. Well, thank you for doing this interview with me, Kevin. Make sure to check out Kevin on Transformers Prime, uh, J.I. Joe Renegades, uh, like, I mean, the new Green Lantern series, Thundercats, Cleveland Show, and a million other shows. Thank yes. you, Kevin. It was a pleasure. Thank you, man. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.